Hello, good morning. It's nine o'clock and there's already stuff going on in the neighborhood. The dog is on patrol. He's on alert. There may be some barking. I hope not. Oh my gosh. Hi, guy. The dog is, something's going on outside and he's very excited about it. It's Sunday. Oh my gosh. Lisa Wheeler, what are you doing up at this hour on a Sunday? Are you going to do my class? Are you going to take this dog off my hands? Um, Guy and Lisa, you're in the same room with me. Um, we're going to give everybody a couple of minutes to hop on. Um, I'm sure Steve will be here, maybe Jane, Tracy. Uh, today we are going to do the uh, format where uh, he's trying to be lured away with a stick. We'll see if it works. Does he look? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm, I wish I was looking at you, Lisa. The dog. There's the cheese stick. Ready and hi, Wendy. <laughs> it's almost like you can see you guys. Go, go, ah. Good Lord, I'm covered. All right, so this morning we are doing dumbbells and a mat. That's it. If you don't have dumbbells, you could just use um, two same size water bottles. Um, I wouldn't recommend using wine bottles for this particular um, particular thing. It probably won't work. If you're new to this class, as I think some of you are, you just need enough room to, um, hi Jane, you just need enough room to do, to, just to move around. You really won't, if you have a mat, that's always a good judge because you're not gonna go much further around than your mat. I got a new mat. It's a little wider than I expected, so we'll see. Um, I might be too short for it. I might be selling this mat shortly. We'll see. Um, um, you would, I can't remember what I asked you. So you would what? Um, oh my gosh, hi Tom. Wow, people from all parts of my life are here. So um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a warm up with our own body weight, a lot of upper body stabilization, a nice little series with the dumbbells or whatever you have working there. Um, and then we'll move right into some cardio drills and then just some core and stretch. So if you have, um, what, yes, you can use wine bottles for weights, although I can't imagine that this many weeks into this pandemic that you even have any that are full. So maybe drink them down to the exact same amount and then use them there. I don't know, I don't know, pick something up. Um, I do have, Lisa Wheeler, this is for you. I do have my water in a wine goblet because, you know, it just makes me feel, hi Ellen, it makes me feel like I'm having a little party. So cheers. All right. So if you have an injury that you're dealing with, know that I teach all my intervals and the cardio will be in layers. So you can always choose the first or second layer. You don't have to do everything that I do. And then if you, um, if you have an injury that you've seen a doctor for or maybe should see a doctor for, make sure you're cleared to do this because I don't want anyone to get hurt. So um, yeah, so I thought you'd appreciate that. Now Lisa Wheeler, get off your couch and put your Bloody Mary down because we are gonna work out. I'm gonna give my music a little bump. So you're gonna stand at the front edge of whatever space you're working in. Feet under your hips, hips under your shoulders. See, you're here, we're waiting for you. Bring your arms up to a V, press your shoulders down. Your toes can wiggle because your weight's in the middle of your feet. Just find a nice little squat here. That means your tailbone's going back to where the wall meets the floor behind you. Arms extend up by your ears. Your toes can wiggle. Come up. Let's do that just one more time. As you come down, bring your arms down to where the wall meets the floor. Same place your tailbone is going. Come back up without locking your knees. This is gonna be your top position. Slow motion, sink down for two. Come back up to a V. Once more, one, two. Now single counts here. So you sink, press down to come up. At the top of every squat here, you squeeze your glutes. Four, three, two more. On the last one, hold it here. Hi, Ari, forward fold. Great, yes, Tom, do the stretch. Tom and I went to high school together. He was always super cool and I was afraid of him, but apparently I don't need to be. So you're gonna let your head hang. You can either grab your elbows or let your hands fall to the floor, whichever works for you. Straighten your left leg, bend your right knee, so you're sitting into your left hip. Change side, straighten your right leg, bend your left. 
Sitting into your right hip. Your toes can still wiggle. Breathing all the way through this heel bend, both knees. Lift your tailbone up. Slowly unroll at the top. Roll your shoulders down and back. Both arms come up together. Forward fold. Tailbone lifts up. Unroll. Three, two, let's do it again. Both arms come up. Forward fold. Unroll. In four. Three at the top. Lace your fingers. Bring them up over your head. Now just lean over to your left. Almost said right. Back to the center. And up and over to your right this time. And center. Bend both knees. Hands on your knees. Round your back. Chin to the chest. Release. Let's do that again. This time, come all the way up. Feet just a little bit wider than your hips. Palms together, sink your hips. Now without moving your knees, right fingertips to the floor, left fingertips reach up. So you'll feel that through your middle, come back up, other side. So sink your hips, left fingertips towards the floor, right fingertips up. The temptation is gonna be to do this with your legs, but try to keep them bent the same amount, and then come back up. That's your move, single count, here we go, reach. Push down to come up, reach. To come up, you push through your feet. Four more to go, so four, push, three, two more. Last one, both arms come up. Feet back under your hips, forward fold. Your knees are bent enough for your hands to find the floor. Step back to a downward facing dog. Your tailbone is lifting up to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Heels pressing into the floor. Palms pressing into the floor. Then lower your hips to plank. Your hands are under your shoulders. Anytime I come to plank, feel free to put your knees on the floor. You do not have to do the planks completely if they're not for you. Oh, Ari, I hope you can fix your internet. From either plank, Lift your tailbone up to a down dog. Both heels lift up and lower. Lift and lower. Let's do four more like this. So lift and lower. Two more. And then hold your down dog. Lower your hips to plank. You can stay here or lower your knees. But if you're not on your knees, you have the option to rock forward and back. Two more, and then we'll hold the plank, any plank, lift your tailbone up, walk your feet up towards your hands, to a forward fold. Your tailbone lifts up, slowly unroll, in four, three, let's get right back into that. Both arms up, forward fold, bend your knees so your hands can find the floor, step back to a downward facing dog. This time, Shift your weight over to your right hand and foot. Take your left leg up until you feel the stretch behind your right leg. You can stay right here or bend your left knee and open your left hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to a down dog split. Now you can stay here or you can lower your hips and bring your left knee to your left elbow. What? If you came down, just hold it here. Hold, four more to go, push the floor away from you. Now come back to your down dog split and both feet to the floor. Find your down dog in the middle. We'll shift over to our left hand and foot. Bring your right leg up behind you, only far enough to feel the stretch behind your left leg. You can stay right here or bend your right knee and open your right hip. If you took the bend in rotation, straighten back out to a down dog split. You can stay here or lower your hips and bring your right knee to your right elbow. You don't have to do this part, but if you did, you're gonna hold here with me for four more counts. So four, three, two, if you came down here, come back up to your down dog split. Then both feet to the floor, down dog in the middle. Then lower your hips to plank. Your knees can be down or up. You'll bring your right leg up 
next to your right hand. Make sure your toes can wiggle here. So if your knee's down, it's just here, or it's up either way. Maybe you touch your right knee, or maybe you reach all the way up and get a rotation here. If you reached up, both hands to the floor, engage your core, step back to plank. Wait, Tom, you can't rest. You're totally fit. Left leg steps up. We're not even past the warm up. Remember, your back knee can be on the floor. Maybe you touch your knee, but your toes can wiggle here. Maybe you reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Core is engaged. Both hands down. Step back to plank. So that's our pattern. Your knees can be here, and you can go at whatever tempo you like, or up tempo with me. Step forward, reach or touch your knee, and like, step, reach. Tom, I think you're a year older than me, even though we graduated the same year. I was young to be in our grade. Step forward, reach, once more, step, reach, hold, any plank. All right, if your knees are still up, put them down now. Release your feet, hips to your heels. Child's pose here. Let's just hips to your heels, palms on the floor, pressing your chest towards your legs. Then round up. Find your modified plank here, hands under your shoulders. If you're here, push your shoulders down. Now maybe you bend your elbows a little bit or a lot, up to you. Straighten them, hips to your heels. So that's our pattern. We'll make it flow. Did you take any tempo you like? Here we go, round up and either hold here or bend. Child's pose here, round up. Hold or bend, again. Round, hold or bend. Did I mention you should breathe? That's always a bonus. Round up, hold or bend. On the next pass, Come up to modify, plank and hold. Tuck your toes here, then push down to find your down dog. Bring your knees back to the floor. Release your feet, child's pose. Let's make that all flow together. Round up in one, two, push down. For two, lower, child's pose. Same thing, round up. For two, push down, lower your knees. Let's do it again. Round up, one, two, push down. Again. This time, come to modified plank and hold here. Now come to your forearms. I like to lace my fingers, but if you're more comfortable here, do that. Either way, drive your elbows into the floor, shoulders away from the ears. Try to tuck your toes. Try to lift your knees. If that's too crazy for you, you can be here on your knees, and then your next progression will be to come here. If you're already here and you're good to go, try to dip your left hip to the floor and plank. Right and plank. Four to go. So four, three, once more. Hold the center, any plank will do. If your knees are still up, put them down. Come back up to your hands and tuck your toes. Push down, find your down dog, then walk your feet up towards your hands. Your head will hang, your tailbone lifts up. Slowly unroll, three, two. Now's a great time to grab a sip of whatever you're drinking this Sunday morning. Did I mention that we were gonna use a towel at the end? for a little stretching and ab work. I think I forgot to mention that. I think I also forgot to mention that I'm trying to move all of this over to YouTube. Grab your dumbbells. But apparently, you have to have a minimum number of followers on your subscribers on YouTube to go live from YouTube. So, my new YouTube channel is Deb Kramer Fitness. There's a link in my bio on the Instagram, my Instagram um, profile. So you can just go there and turn off the notifications if you don't want to hear from me all the time. And then just subscribe. Tell all your friends. All right. Wait. <laughs> I wish it was vodka in that one glass. It's not. It's just water. You know, if your hips, hips under your shoulders, knees are not locked. Bicep curls all the way up and down. 
Up, so you want to be able to make the full range of motion here. Up and lower. Curl. Toes can wiggle. Keep your curl and take your feet wide. Toes to the corners just a little bit. As you curl, you have an option here to sink, press. Sink and press. Your hips straight down to the floor so it's not really a traditional squat. It's a plank, but don't tell the boys. Two more. We're gonna slow it down. Two counts to get there. So one, two, push down to come up. Sink for two, down. Twice more slowly, one. Two, enjoy it. Once more. And then we'll go back to single counts here. Sink, press. Two more. Then we're gonna go only halfway, hold it at the halfway point. Extend, half, extend. Now let's go all the way down and halfway up. So sink to the half, sink to the half. Full range, single count. Yes, I can't have anything but water because I'm such a lightweight and I could never get through the class. Oh my kidding, I can barely get through the class with water. Two more. Then we'll slow it down. Three counts to get there. Three, two, one to come up. In three, two, one to come up. Yes, vodka will be later, much later for me. I'm gonna tell you guys a story about once upon a time. One down, three up. Once upon a time, I may have had a brunch cake with some other moms from school after the first day of school drop off. Sort of a tradition. They all go down to this little restaurant at the water. Single counts here. And there's, it's just filled, packed with moms. Maybe not this year. Let's go halfway and hold. Little pulses here, knuckles towards me, and then rotate out and center. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna participate. It's just a nice day. So I ordered a Bloody Mary. You know, they, this place serves drinks in sizes. So you can order small, medium, or large, yes, in a bar drink. Four more like this. So four, and three, and two. Hold it out right here. Keep your pulse. Maybe lift your heels up as you pulse. Hi, Tawny, how are you? Bring your arms up to a V. Pulse. Belly button in, hips under your shoulders. Three, two, hold. Maybe straighten your legs. Bring your arms to the sides. So your thumbs are facing me now. Maybe your arms come forward like you're holding a big round beach ball. And rotate over to your right and center. Over to your left. One, two, center. Belly button in. Bring your arms up. And bend your knees. Tawny, are you working out with me? I miss you too. Lower your heels, dumbbells with the rib cage. Bring them together and up to the chest. Wiggle your toes, sink, press. Oh no, yes. Don't do the, wait, yeah. Don't do the weights if it's hurting you. Sink and press. So there I was, trying to participate in brunch, having a drink, one more, and hold your arms up. Bring your arms down, feet under your hips, shoulder blades squeeze together, release. So it's back behind you just like that. So squeeze, release. Two more on the last one. Hold your shoulder blades back, bend your knees, bend your elbows, your dumbbells are at your booty, hinge at your hip, your toes can wiggle. This is your start point. You extend and back, extend. Yes, you can work out in your pajamas. Listen. The producer's in his pajamas. I would be in my pajamas, but I just feel like there's too many looky-loos on here. Up tempo here. So out and out. Four to go in four, three. Now we'll go three times and hold. So you have three, two. Hold your extension to the glutes again in three, two, extend. To the glutes again in three, two, extend. Once more, three, Two, hold your extension. Now rotate your palms to the ceiling. Give it a little pulse. So you have, yeah, your, your arms are extended. Your spine is extended. You're giving a little pulse up above your glutes. Three, two, come up, both arms come up. 
feet wide. Both arms come up together. Your dumbbells stay together at the top. Overhead press for two. Extend. Now maybe you sink your hips. One, two, single count here. I haven't forgotten about my story I'm telling you. So I got the small drink and I had like a third of it. And then like an hour and a half later, everyone's getting up to go. Everybody gets in their cars and they're all like, see you later. And they all drive off, four to go, in four, press down, three, two more, and then hold your arms up, bring them down, shoulders down and back, round your elbows, side raise, lift, release. Now sink your hips slowly for two, single count here. And as I'm sitting in my car, I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot drive anywhere. Just like a third of a small drink. Hold it down, little pulse. It had been an hour and a half. I had to put my seat back and take a nap. Took my whole day out. Hold it right here. Lift your heels and lower. Lift and lower, two more. Last one. Hold it here, come up. Shoulders down, let's do it again. Bring the arms up for two, and then sink your hips. So your elbows are higher than your hands, so that's why it cannot be vodka my water. Single count here, sink, press, sink, two more. Then hold it down here, little pulses, for four, three, two, hold, heel lift, up and lower, up, two more, heels lift up, last one, and then come up, feet parallel, let's do some back work. I know Tom, I cannot handle stuff like that. Bend your knees, more of a bubblegum and ice cream kind of girl. Hinge at your hip, dumbbells not almost touching or maybe touching if they don't clank like mine. Your toes can wiggle and bring your elbows up to 90 degrees. They should look like gold post here. Extend and then single count. Shoulder blades retract here. Tom, you're giving me so many messages, I fear you're not doing this workout at all. <laughs> Maybe you're talking to Siri. Four, three, on the last one, hold your arms up, little pulses here, shoulder blades pinched together, knees are slightly bent, enjoy it. Four, three, two, and one, release. Tailbone lifts up, unroll, hang on to your dumbbell. We have one last move for your back. Bend both knees. Hinge at the hip, thumbs face each other. Round your elbows, your toes can wiggle. Slow motion, back five. One, two, single count. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Yes, I'm covering all the bases on the shoulders. Breathing in and out. Let's do four more. Four. Three, one more, hold your arms up. Little pulses here. So just your elbows higher than your hands. Doesn't matter how high the arm is. Three, two, and one. Forward fold, unroll. As you come up, feet slightly wider than your hips. Bring your dumbbells at your shoulders. Rotate so their thumbs are facing me. Find your squat, come up. You press up to where the wall meets the ceiling in front of you. Two counts to get there. One, two, single count here. Bend, press. Push down to come up. Just four more, four. Up, three, push down, two. On the last one, bring your arms down, feet under your hips. Before we finish, circle your wrists out. Then reverse, circle them in. Two, three, now just a wrist curl. Up, two, three, reverse your wrist, not your circle, your now it's an extension. Four to go, four, three, set your dumbbells down. All right, let's get moving. I'm gonna use my towel because my face is pouring sweat. All right, make sure you have space on either side of you because we're gonna travel a little bit. Feet under your hips, palms together. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Now Tom, 
all your pictures on social media, you look all big and buff. How'd you hurt your shoulder? And aren't you a trainer anyways? Two more. Maybe you touch your knees, knuckles up, sink. Knuckles up, sink up. Maybe you lift your heels at the top, sink, press, sink, press. Two more. Hold your last position, hold. Try to find your chair squat here. Heels down, palms together, just the basic squat again. So again, make sure you have room on either side. We're starting left, slow motion, lunge laterally. One, two, press down, same leg. So you bend the outside leg. Let's go twice more slowly. Bend, you push off of this leg. Once more, bend for two, same leg, this time diagonally back. So one, two, press back to the center. Again, this way, one, two, two more over here. One, two, last time. Slow motion, side lunge, one time slowly. One, two, diagonally sink your hips. One, two, single count, side and back. Side, tap, lunge, back, it's like a little curtsy lunge. You can work here, or maybe your arms go with you. They circle around and dip. Circle, they go out, up, down, up, now, if you're ready for another level, maybe you get rid of the tap and take your knee up here, out, up. You don't have to. Remember, the first level was just the tap with no arms. Second level, we have the arms. Third level, we got rid of the tap. Out, up, two more, out, up, once more. You're gonna hold your last position. Hold it right here. Arms laced, press them towards me. Extend your left leg back. Give a little pulse right here for eight, seven. Where are your shoulders? Are they down? Four, three, squat. Touch your knees, reach up. Breathing in and out. Knuckles up. Maybe your heels lift up. Sink, press, four to go, four, three, two, and hold your arms up here. Try to find your chair squat with your heels up or down. I'm not kidding you. Hold, yep, hold. Palms together. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes. Come up, squats right here. That's why the hardest part is to hold after you've been moving. Four more to rest for four. No knee locking, only squeezing your glutes. Here we go, right side, slow motion, two counts. Lateral lunge, let's do it again. Lateral lunge. Two more just like that. Your left leg stays straight. You push off of your right leg, last time. Right leg diagonally back behind you, one. Two, let's do it again. Sink for two, two more slowly. Practice your technique, hips and shoulders towards me, last one. Now one time, slowly to the side, lunge. Bend your right leg, press off diagonally back. Sink for two, now single count, out to the right, press diagonally back. Again, so this is your first level. You can always work here, side, up, or your arms, you can go out, circle, down, circle, out, up. Seems easy enough. Maybe you lose the tap. Up, balance, lunge, balance, side lunge, up, curtsy lunge, up, out, up. Let's do it again. Another reason I couldn't have vodka in my cup because I gotta go teach two more after this one in a mask and gloves. Out, up. We have two more to go after this one. Twice more. Out, up. Last one. You are gonna hold your last position. Hold, what? 
Hold, yes. Place your fingers, press them towards me. Extend your right leg behind you. Pulse, where your shoulders, pull them down. Three, two, we have four to go. For four, three, two. Parallel squat, knuckles up. Whew -whew. Your heart rate should be nice and high. Maybe you lift your heels, sink. Knuckles up, heels up. Two more. And hold at the top. Hold, hold again, yep. And find your squat, palms together. Thumbs to your chest, heels down, up. <laughs> Thomas, is this your first time doing my sort of flowy intervals? They're much harder than they look. Let your heart rate settle. All right, grab some water if you need it. Remember, this move here is like our bass drum. You can always come back here in anything we're doing and we'll catch back up to you. Left leg steps back once, step back, other way. So this is our pattern, just a step back. Easy enough, step, or you can sink your hips and push against the floor. It's the same thing we were doing with the dumbbells on the curls. Same move. Easy enough. Let's do four more. Sink your hips or not. Up to you. Two more. And parallel squat. Right here. So remember that move. We're going to add some arms to that. But we're practicing here. Hold it up. Arms extend. They go left. Center. Right. Center. They try not to bend. Here we go, left side, chop, straight ahead, chop, straight ahead, chop, straight ahead. Let's do four more. So try to keep your arms extended. Two more. Now center, just the squat. That's the first part of the interval. I'll start this with a step right here. Step out, step out, and in. Step out, and in, fingertips to the floor. Extend and bend. So step, squat, or you can just sink right in. Sink, four to go. Four, three, two, left leg steps back, chop the arms, keep straight, other side. Sink your hips, one more. Now step or jump to a squat. Four, three, two, Left leg steps back, long arms. Rotate from the middle. Two more. Step or jump to a squat. Four. Three. Two. Left leg steps back. Four. Three. Two. Step or jump right here. Four. Three. Two. Hold your wide squat. Reach up. So toes towards me. Wide squat or reach. Four to go. Four. Push down. Pull up. One more. Hold it up. Hold. Toes to the corners. Knock those up. I know you want to put them down. Sink your hips. Heels up. Fingertips reach to where the wall meets the floor behind you. Make a fist, extend, make a fist, extend. Try to reach on. Yes, yes, I, I'm panting as strong as you are. One more, hold your hands in this, hold it. Bring your palms together, thumbs out your chest, lower your heels, come up, toes towards me. Reach down, pull up, reach, pull up. Final four of these, then we learn our next interval. Two more. Feet under your hips, palms together. Recovery squat here. So now, take a little step back behind you so you have room in front. One, sweat. This is why we have to wear a mask if we're in person. Adjust your outfit if you need, like I do, because the sweat is flying everywhere. That's why masks and gloves and a bazillion feet around you. 
All right. So you're gonna need the space in front of you. Left leg steps forward one time. Step forward. Other way. This is your pattern. Easy enough. Just going straight towards me. Two more. All right. Now you turn slightly to the corner. In order to do that and make a turn, you need to have your weight in your back heel so that when you pivot around, you can sink your hips and pivot. Sink. That way you're not gonna have any torque on your knee. You don't wanna have your weight in the ball of your foot because when you try to rotate, you are gonna pull on the knee. Maybe it doesn't hurt today, but you'll put little micro tears in there. And then one day, you'll be getting out of your car and something will snap and you'll be like, what? I didn't even do anything. You were doing it here or any other place where your weight wasn't in the right place. All right, maybe you reach up behind you, up, not down, guy. Reach up behind you, focus is up. Maybe you reach up in the back. So reach both arms, back arm, both arms, back arm, both arms, sink your hips for four, three, two, what's that? You wanna do four more. Okay, four, three, two, recovery squats here. You should have felt that in here. Let your heart rate settle. Hold your squat here, hold. Bring your arms up, up by your ears. Extend through your fingertips. Wiggle your toes, breathing in and out. And come up, recovery squats, palms together. Two more. Here comes the next part. Left leg steps back, heel stays up. The lunge, just in one place. Easy enough. Arms up, they come down and up. Fingertips down and up. Let's do four more right here. So sink, press, and scoot up a little bit. I have lots of room on this mat because I'm short. Hold it up. Now, hinge forward, palms come together behind your knee. Let's do it again. Single count. Over, up, over, up. Just the lunge here, down and up. Two more. Then we're gonna do one of each. Hinge forward right here. Once, lunge once. This is your pattern, over, lunge. You can work here, or your option, as you hinge, is to let your back leg lift. Lunge, again, over, up. Lunge, again, over, up. Lunge again, over, up, and over. Two more. Last one here. And parallel squats. Shoulders down and back. We're gonna recover in the middle. Maybe do a little thumping, then do the other side. Then wrap this whole thing up. Now remember today, there's no after party on Sundays because I gotta run out of here. I gotta change, put on a non-stinky outfit and get up, put my mask, my gloves on. All right, you can stay in the squat or you can pedal your feet. You can pedal here or hop. Shoulders down and back. Then you'll step out to the side so you step or you can hop. Squat, we did this earlier. Hop or pedal, hop, squat, or pedal, step. Arms here for four, three, two, just the squat right here. Sink, squeeze, two more. Feet under your hips. Now this week, I posted my schedule, and today, Wednesday and Friday, because I need to go see my mom. Tom, you know where that is. Up the coast. Am I gonna drive by you? So no Monday class this week. All right, right leg, steps back. Lunge, 
down up, sink, press. Let's do four more like that. So here and up, sink and up, two more. Now slow motion, hip hinge. It's the first one on this side. One more slowly, hinge for two, single count. Up, sometimes it's easier to balance. Keep your eyes on me. Lunge here. Let's do one of each. One hinge, one lunge. This is your move. If this makes you dizzy or crazy, pick one to do, maybe just lunges. If you're hip hinging here, maybe you lift and lower, lunge. Again, over, up. Same thing, over, up. Enjoy it. Let your heart rate just settle into a steady state, over. Up. Two more. Last time. Recovery squats in the center. Sink, squeeze. We're gonna do that, either pedal and step, or hop and squat right here. And squat, pedal, step, or hop, sink. Four to go, so four. Three, two, hold your wide squat. Sink, squeeze. All right, big finish. Before we go to the core, or the four, to do core. Cross your forearms, toes to the corners. Sink your hips, press. So here's my issue with this mat. It's two inches wider than the other mat. It's a long story about why I got it. But I'm so short that another inch on each side on this move where I like to keep my toes off the mat, it's not easy. Take the arms out to a V. So sink, cross, V. This is your move. Up tempo here. Cross, V, cross. You can work here or lift your heels as your arms cross, V. If you're lifting your heels, maybe you push down, get a little air. Press against the floor. Remember, space shuttle doesn't get pulled off the earth. It gets pushed, push off the earth. One more, palms together. Sink, push down, two more. Back to parallel, inhale, reach up. Hands on your legs. Round your back. Release your back. Round up again. Release. Round all the way up. Inhale, reach up. Feet under your hips. Try to push down. Lift your heels and hold. Yep, another hold. Find your chair. Breathing in and out. For four, three, two. Lower your heels, wiggle your toes, palms together. And now, all right, grab your beverage and your towel. I'm gonna turn sideways. And the reason I turn sideways, as I always say, is that way I can cue front and back, and the front arm will always be the arm that is closest to your screen. And speaking of your screen, if you're still doing this with me on your phone in this size, and you want to hook it to your TV or your big computer, whatever you have, you can get a little adapter. I posted in my Instagram, I think last week or the week before, it's just a little thing, and you can hook it from your phone right into your TV. So, that's little tips. All right, so you might notice, well, you're sitting on your towel. Yes, I brought a spare, a really raggedy spare. This must be a car washing towel. So you're gonna open it up and take your hands or your arms, shoulder distance apart. So you wanna avoid having any slack in it, pull it tight. So you're gonna sideways sit, booty bones right into the floor. Knees are bent, trying to get your feet flat on the floor. Now the temptation here is to start everything here. But here, your back muscles are already released. So you wanna engage your back muscles. Sit up straight, it should feel like you're pulling the towel out to the side. Now half curl down, so curl 
for two and up. Again, so curl for two and up. So that's your move. That pull on the towel will force you to engage your lats. You're thinking, what are my lats? They're those muscles that bodybuilders come when they walk down and do their pose down like the runway. It's where they flex, where they look like a cobra in their upper body. So you can stay in this curl or you can bring your arms up over your head and back down in front. So curl, reach, and no, you're not gonna get big laps like that doing this. And up, and curl. But having nice toned lats does give you permission to wear a tank top and be super confident. Two more like that, so curl. Reach a Zoom meeting on a Sunday, hi Beth. Now as you rotate, or as you curl, rotate towards me is what I meant to say. Now rotate away from me. Up. Well Beth, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna post it so you can just start at the top and then when we get to ask, you can be done because you've already done them. Or do them twice, curl. Rotate, keeping the, sh oh, well, this is the towel. Keeping it shoulder distance apart with the hands as you rotate, curl down. This time, go straight down, curl and hold. Now rotate towards me in your curl and center to the back. Maybe you extend your leg as you rotate across. Rotate, then double pulse in the rotation. Go around the other side. Again, towards me, pulse. Let's do four, three, two, and then forward fold, lose the towel. You can bend your knees here as much as you need. Either way, you're feeling a release in your low back, actively separating your shoulder blades, chin to your chest. Inhale, on your exhale, flex your feet. Bring your eyes up first, shoulders, and then your body. What, you wanna do that again? Okay, fold. Yes, always with the hold. Chin to your chest. Your knees can be as bent as you need. Just looking for a release here and a separation here. Inhale. On your exhale, flex your feet, eyes up first, shoulders, and then your body. All right, at the top, you're gonna tuck your hips. Fingertips can help you roll down. When you're all the way down, knees into the chest. I'm gonna scooch down in the middle. So knees into the chest, then rock your knees side to side. Watch out for your drink. I mean your water, your beverage. Now when I do this windmill stretch, I always tell you I like to extend the top leg as I go across. Gives me an extra stretch at the top of the glutes and the low back. You don't have to do that. Just with your knees in might be enough for you. Let's come back to the center. Hands to the side of your hips. Shoulders pressing down into the mat. Untuck your hips so your belly button's level to your pelvic bone. 90 degrees at the hip of the knee. Your legs are your dumbbells. Take your front leg and extend it to the wall in front of you. This back leg stays at 90 degrees at the hip of the knee. Tom Witt, Mr. Costello, be so proud of me for my geometry studies. Change sides, four, three, two count to make the change, one, two. So the key to this, is the incoming leg stopping at 90 and 90. Because the temptation is to bring it in here, but what that does is that decreases the resistance on your core. Single counts right here, we have three, two, hold and pulse. Again, three, two, hold and pulse. Same thing, we have three, two, hold and pulse. Last time, three, two, hold right here. Both legs to chair. Arms out to the side, palms up towards the ceiling so you're not tempted to push down. Your legs are your dumbbells. This might be enough for you. If it is, just hold here. Otherwise, you'll bring your legs towards me. Rotate one, two, pull to the center. Now away from me, over for two, center. Exhale and rotate over for two, inhale. So you resist the weight of your legs as you go over. You use your core to pull back to the center. Right here, pull with your core. Exhale, rotate, resist. Once more each side, 
rotate over, pull center, over the back, one, two, and hold in the center, release your knees to your chest, wrap your arms around your knees, inhale, on your exhale, squeeze under your armpits, roll up into a little ball, and then release, feet on the floor, knees bent, fingertips up to the ceiling, inhale, take them up over your head, Exhale, circle your arms around, squeeze under your armpits, roll your shoulder blades. Just slightly off the floor, pick your back leg up, flex your foot. Now you can stay here if this is enough for you, or you can extend your front leg anywhere out in front of you. You can hold here, or you can take your front arm across your back leg and give it a little pulse, and pulse. Up, up, breathing in and out. Up, two, three, we're doing eight more. You can hold or pulse. Lots of things are worse than this in four. Three, two, hold up. If you're rotating across your back leg, come back to the center and release. Let's set that up on the other side. Both feet on the floor. Fingertips reaching up. Yes. Bring your arms up over your head. Exhale, circle the arms around, squeeze underneath your armpit. Yes, you can point your toes if you want. Extend your front leg up. You can point your toe or flex. Up to you. You can stay here, or you can extend your back leg out anywhere there. You can stay here, or go across your front hip and give it a little pulse. Up towards me, breathe and think of the three things that are harder than what we're doing here. Let's do eight. Seven, six, last four, three, two, and hold. Come back to the center. One last thing, shall we? Cross the ankles. Knees are bent out to the corners. This is my flavor of the month. I love this one. Fingertips behind your ears. Squeeze under your armpits. Lift your shoulders. Maybe this is enough. Otherwise, crunch in for two. Extend away from your middle. In for two, exhale on the way out. Inhale for two, for two, exhale. Again, inhale one, two, exhale. Inhale one, two, exhale. Two more times. In for two, back, I miss your face. Hold it in. Little pulses, pulse. Eight more here, so eight. Try not to pull on your head. Pulse, hips and shoulders closer together. Three, two, and release. Hands to the side of the hips. Heels as close to the booty as you can get them. Tuck your hips, push your feet down, and lift your hips up to a bridge pose. Just a diagonal line from your shoulders through your hips and to your knees. Your toes can wiggle. Maybe you lace your fingers underneath your back and straighten your elbows. Push your feet down. Make sure you're breathing in and out. If you lace your fingers, unlace them, and lower your spine, one bone at a time. Front leg lifts up, cross it over your back knee, pick your back foot up. That's enough for me. If you need more, you can reach behind and do this, and lace your fingers behind. I don't really need to, I'm just gonna hold my leg here. Opening up your hip, I've been doing a ton of walking. Four, three, Two, and release, change sides, back leg up, cross it over, pick it up. If this is enough, you'll stay here. Otherwise, lace behind your front leg and pull the leg closer to your chest. You'll feel this in your back hip for four, three, two, one, and release. Take your front knee into the chest, extend it straight up this time, far enough to feel the stretch behind it. Your back leg can stay here on the floor or it can slide down anywhere your flexibility allows it. Flex your front foot. Bend the knee to the chest. Drive it up. Again, flex. Bend, drive it up. Let's do that one more time. Flex, bend. This time hold your extension. It doesn't have to be straight. It only has to be feeling the stretch behind the leg. Take your front arm anywhere on the inside of your front leg. Just bring the leg to the side, only as far as you need it to feel the stretch on the inside. Trying to keep your back hip 
pressing into the floor. So it's not gonna lift. Breathing in and out. Flex both feet, push your heels out to the walls. Then bend the knee to the center. Front arm reaches out towards me. Back arm across your bent knee. And the knee goes away from your screen. Breathing in and out in this full spine rotation. Four more right here in four, three, two, come back to the center. Change sides, back knee into the chest. Extend your leg up until you feel the stretch behind it. Front leg can stay here or it can wiggle down, finding a point of flexibility that works for you. Flex your back foot, bend the knee to the chest. One, two, send the heel up again. Flex, bend, drive it up. Twice more, flex, bend, drive it up. Once more, flex, bend this time, hold the leg up. Take your back arm anywhere on the inside of the leg. Push it to the side only far enough to feel it on the inside. It might only be an inch or two. Front hip stays pressing into the floor. Flex both feet, pushing your heels out to the walls. Breathing while it happens. Then bend your back knee to the center. Back arm reaches out to the side. Front arm across your knee. Take the knee over towards your screen. Reaching out with your back arm. Maybe you're getting a little chiropractic festivities in your back here. Three, two, and one. Come back to the center. Both feet on the floor. Flip over onto your stomach. All right. Arms and legs extended out. Watch out for all your gear. From here, bring your front arm around. Grab where your shoelaces would be, or maybe still are if you're wearing shoes. You'll pull your heel to your hip. Hip to the floor. Your knee is going straight out from your hip. Opening up your quadriceps. This is usually pretty tight. And then release, change sides. Reach around. I don't know, is Guy still here? I think Guy's still here. Maybe he's just being quiet. Maybe he's stretching. Pull your heel to your hip, hip to the floor. I have a lot of guys, and not, not got a lot of men in the class today, that's awesome. Heel to the hip, hip to the floor. Now if you can stay here, bring your front arm back around to meet it. Now, if you're not quite here, work on this. Maybe grab your heels, Maybe use your towel, wrap it around. If you're already here, push your feet into your hands and lift your knees, really opening the quadriceps here. Then maybe lifting your chest, opening your shoulders. Yeah, guys here, just doing the workout. And then release, hands the side of your chest. Press your chest up, bring your hips back to your heels. Child's pose. Rotate your thumbs up towards the ceiling so your hands are on their sides. Then release your palms back to the floor. Round up to a tabletop. So your hands are under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Tuck your toes, round your back right here. And release. Wait, how do, how do I teach backwards? It's not easy. I have to reverse my brain. And round up. From here, push down, lift your tailbone up, walk your feet up towards your hands, let your head hang, unroll, one bone at a time. When you guys are up, you guys are all done. Oh my gosh, thank you for getting up with me on a Sunday morning. So remember, no class tomorrow. You can, all, they're all up, so you can do an old one. Um, I'm gonna be here Wednesday. Wednesday, I think I put up there, I think we're gonna do like a cardio, Conditioning, sculpt, I'm not sure. Look at it, we'll see. Um, so thank you so much for everyone who's been able to donate. If you're not in a position to donate, don't worry about it. Just show up and stay fit. Um, have a great day, and I'll see some of you guys on Wednesday. Bye.